Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this simple filament spool holder. So, as we bring the tarantula build sort of to an end, one of the things I decided is uh, I need to add a spool holder for it, obviously. And, and one of the things, because of the frame of the tarantula, it's probably not the strongest in the world. I decided I didn't want to hang two pounds of plastic from it. So having an external spool holder I thought would be the best option. So I headed to Thingiverse and I came across this particular one. Now one of the things I like about it is it uses the 608ZZ skate bearing. It actually uses four of them uh, to hold the spool and spool it off. Now one of the interesting things about the design is it has these struts which run across the center of this which create the spacing for the various spool sizes. One of the things that I think I'm going to do in a future version of this is, is uh, flip this a little bit where I, I put the struts uh, a little bit differently so what happens is is I can have variable distance in the struts and then have different notches for spool sizes however for today I think we're just going to go print this one the way it is and again we can kind of see how it comes out um, the basic structure of this is it has two sides as you can see here and the skate bearings uh, attach here just uh, appear to be pressure fit and it's got two different size struts uh, one I think for a printer bot size filament and the other one for a standard size spool so we're going to print out the standard size spool and we're going to print out two of these and we're going to attach the skate bearings so tell you what we'll do let's head over to the printer let's uh, I'm going to do this on the one how in black PLA uh, and so let's take a quick watch of the time lapse and see how it all prints out then what we'll do is we'll come back to the bench and we'll assemble it and we'll see how it all goes together and you guys can decide if uh, this is a good design or not so let's head over the time lapse Okay, so here we are back at the uh, printer. So we've printed these out. Uh, black PLA, as I mentioned before, came out very nice. So I tell you what, let's uh, pry these up off the bed, take them over to the bench, and let's uh, try assembling this and see how it works. So let's head over to the bench. Okay, here we are back at the bench, and we've assembled the uh, unit, and here's what it looks like. So a couple things about the assembly. Um, one is the gap in here, the pressure fit. Now I started out filing this out, but this these were quite a bit different um, size-wise. So I got tighter filing and then just uh, used a heat gun and heated it up and uh, fit these in. So uh, it didn't come out as good as I had liked, but the difference was quite substantial. So they weren't really even close, which is a little bit disappointing that it was so far off. Usually if you just trim a little bit off, it works. Um, a little bit of the same for the bushing mounts where the bearings go on. Here's the uh, 608ZZs. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty much a pressure fit to go on here. Now I did have to take some sandpaper on all four and round them out um, and, and to get the bearing on. And, and pretty much it's a pressure fit, so it's a one-way street. So if you go to take this bearing back off, you're going to break the piece which is okay because it's meant to stay on, but uh, I've quickly decided I am going to modify this. I've decided I'm going to make a version. I've got a bunch of these lag bolts, um, you know, where it's got a round head and a square insert piece. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these with the lag bolts. So in short, what I'm going to do is just make a holder, you know, sort of a foot come out around here and then pop two holes in each side um, and make, make a square so that the, the bolts will go through and then they can set the distance because one of the challenges is is um, so you can see for this normal size spool or what I'm calling a normal size spool it doesn't fit it's not sitting on on the bearings if I take this wider spool let's take a look at the difference here you can see the difference uh, it sits on here quite nicely and one of the things I do like about the design is the designer um, left this gap. Now I was a little bit concerned with this gap between the bearing and the wall here that the uh, 
would fall in there, but but it's 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 small enough. It's not won't fall in there, so it will ride against there. So that's actually kind of nice, uh, actually. So I'm I'm happy with that. So I think the base design of the stand is okay. Uh, it's just the these the separating supports. Um, you know, because I was thinking, you know, okay, even if it's non-standard, I just print up a couple of them. However, it would be kind of nice to have it adjustable. And again, I've got a number, I've got a whole whack load of these. And so it'll easily make it adjustable both, you know, whoops, sorry, I bumped you guys. Uh, both narrower and, and wider. So I'd be able to use the wide spool and then just, you know, adjust the nuts. Because what I'll do is I'll put probably wing nuts on the outside and regular uh, nuts on the inside. So uh, I think I'll probably do up a video where I where I make the modification to this. I'll probably do it in Tinkercad. It'd be pretty straightforward modification, I think. The only thing I'm a little bit uh, is the size of this looks like I'm going to have to hit it dead on. So what I might do is just kind of in in this space where this piece goes, it looks like enough meat to get to so the head isn't going to hit the table so or, or whatever it's sitting on but in, in general I found it kind of interesting I was just again a little bit disappointed that they, these were so far off that uh, like I say I got bored of filing and uh, because I wasn't even getting me close and I thought about grinding it down with a round grinder then it would make it all kind of weird and and kind of heating it up and pressure fitting it in made it kind of weird too so I'm a little bit unhappy about that but uh, it, it does kind of work so anyways uh, just kind of wanted to share this build with you so if you found this interesting hey give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel keep a lookout because I'm going to do a video pretty shortly where I redo this with the uh, leg bolt so watch out for that and we'll print that baby up all right cheers see you in the next one just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects